Hello friends, welcome to this video from Triple Helper. Uh, we have already told you that we have started freelance service for MATLAB models. So if you have any project you want to outsource, you can contact us either through our email ID, which is one triple e point at gmail.com or you can send a message on our Facebook page, which is Triple e Helper. So in this video, we will quickly cover one of our model, which is maximum power point tracking. Uh, so in this uh, MPPT, we have used incremental conductance method, uh, which is a very famous method. And the solar PV module uh, details are mentioned here. If you see uh, the maximum power point from the solar PV model is uh, 50 watt here. And the converter topology which have been used in this model is boost converter. So now we can uh, go to Simulink. So here you are seeing complete MPPT model using boost converter. Uh, if you look left side, we have our solar PV model. And after that, we have uh, incremental conductance block. And uh, we have duty cycle generation block. And below, we have a boost converter. So in this uh, simulation, what we are going to do is, uh, uh, we have set solar irradiance at 1000 uh, from 0 to 0 0.5 second. Then at 0 0.5 second, we are giving a perturbation uh, in solar irradiance. Uh, that is, we are going from 1000 uh, to 500. And then at uh, 0.8, we are giving again a perturbation and uh, we are moving from 500 back to 1000. So uh, during this perturbation, our model should be able to track the maximum power from the solar PV. Now let us go and uh, run the simulation. So let us go to the scope. So here what you are seeing is the maximum power from the solar PV. So you can see the curve is moving up. So now it has settled to 50 watt. So at 0 0.5, uh, we have given a perturbation in solar irradiance. Uh, that is, so uh, the expected maximum power at 500 uh, solar irradiance to be around 24 to 25 watt. So we'll see that uh, at 0 0.5 second, uh, the maximum power will move uh, from 50 watt to 24 or 25 watts. So you can now see here the incremental conductance control is able uh, to track the maximum power during this perturbation. Now at, at 0 0.8, uh, we have again a, a perturbation in solar irradiance. That is, uh, we will go again back to 50 watt. Let us see uh, whether the control will able to track it or not. So you can see that uh, the maximum power again uh, moved back to 50 watt. So the controller is working as expected. So if you are interested in this model, you can uh, contact us either through our Facebook page, Triple E Helper, or you can write an email to us at one triple e point at gmail.com. So guys, please like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates from Triple E Helper. Uh, thank you.